Pinoy Manejo. And so we are here in Edmonton. And uh, malapit na tayo sa Achison, no? Like I always said, Achison is only west side of Edmonton. And uh, Ipaparada lang natin tong trailer na dala natin At uh, kukunin ko yung mga equipments na ginamit ko And then kukuha tayo ng uh, Tri-flat Na empty trailer Para gamitin natin bukas mag-reload Ang reload natin ay uh, Papunta ng uh, Abbotsford, British Columbia uh, Babalik tayo doon no Sa yard namin Nandun tayo galing nung mga nakaraang videos ko At uh, pupunta tayo ulit doon At may karga tayo bukas na equipment Hindi ko pa sure kung anong klaseng equipment But Kukunin natin ng madaling araw Hindi naman madaling araw mga, Siguro mga 8 uh, 8 o'clock in the morning Nandun na tayo sa shipper Kukunin natin uh, dalawa, dalawa pala yung kukunin natin yung first load na kukunin natin sa Achison and then babalik tayo dito sa Edmonton yung pangalawa yung, yung pangalawang load ay maliit lang two pallets lang dito sa Edmonton hindi na masyadong pangit dito no kanina sobrang pangit talaga highway 16 nung pumasok tayo ng Edmonton ay uh, maganda na siya Alright, so nandito na, nandito na tayo sa Achison uh, Malapit na malapit na tayo sa yard no? Naabutan pa tayo ng train uh, hintay, hintay lang tayo sandali Alright, nandito na tayo sa yard no? Nandito yung yard namin sa Achison Nandito yung Q-Line yard And uh, ipaparada lang natin tong trailer natin. Tatabi natin dito kasi pareho silang load eh. And uh, ang daming mga silent air oh. Halos itong lahat papunta ng states to eh. Meron pa doon, marami talaga dito. Hanap mo lang, hanap lang tayo ng mapaparadahan natin. Etong mga load na to ay preloaded na to, no. Ah, depende na lang kung saan nila dadalhin tong mga load na to. Ang daming mga silent air, oh. Gaya na sinabi ko, most likely etong mga load na to ay uh, papunta lahat ng states halos lahat na ito bihira lang dito sa Canada but mostly sa states talaga ang dami oh. So, lalabas muna ako at tatanggalin ko lahat ng mga equipments natin bago tayo kumuha ng empty. Ang kukunin nating trailer ay uh, empty tri-flat, no? Para sa reload natin bukas. Anyway, lalabas lang muna ako at malamig. Ayos naman, may jacket naman tayo. Ito mga kaibigan ko to eh. Ready 
of dead too but I mean it's kind of steady at the same time a foot maybe a cup two I'll do that good seeing you Ang hirap Ang hirap ayun, Anuhin ang mga strap Kasi talagang sobrang tigas na tigas sila ano? gawa namin, halos naman siguro lahat ng driver dito sa Canada ay alam ito, pagkatapos na pagkatapos namin i-drop yung trailer, lagi namin tinadump yung air ito yung pahangin, ito yung magdadump ng air i-disconnect natin yung kingpin tigas Excuse Max, go on the other side, please. Oh boy. So now, on. Ah, up tayo ng empty trailer. Yun yung gagamitin natin trailer sa reload natin. Tapos na ito, ay wala na tayong gagawin. Magpaparada na tayo at lalakad natin si Max at uh, hahanap tayo ng mapapagkainan natin. Ito siguro. Ano ba ito? Trombone. Gusto ko yung Super B. Ano ba dito? Ang daming trombone. Gusto natin yung try flat no. Kukunin natin yun. Yun yung i-hook up natin. Hey, if you want to drive us in the Ashton yard, uh, we need to go over to the west yard and help out the load Gary G has. natin yung trailer na kailangan natin at check ko lang ulit yung mga gulong at mga ilaw no alright so good morning sa inyo lahat it's the next day here and uh, we are in Atchison no and uh, we are gonna be picking up a load uh, dalawa yung kukunin natin yung load ngayong araw na to there's two loads for the day uh, one is here in Atchison and then the other one the second one will be in Edmonton uh, after here we're gonna be going straight to Edmonton to pick to pick the second load and both of these loads are going to Washington actually pero hindi tayo puputa ng Washington uh, uh, drop lang natin tong load sa Abbotsford British Columbia uh, ibang driver yung pupunta sa Washington kukunin nila ito sa Abbotsford so yeah, so that's the agenda for today. We are just picking up two loads 
on different locations and then uh, drive up up to the mountains British Columbia to Abbotsford it's going to take us a day and a half and uh, I'm really hoping that the weather is not too bad because uh, uh, yesterday and last night no grabe grabe talaga yung hangin at freezing rain but hopefully it'll come down a little bit so I'm not expecting like sunny and clean roads and stuff like that because it's winter so obviously it's going to be a little bit uh, challenging for us pero uh, nagdasal na tayo ngayong umaga uh, nagsay na tayo ng prayers natin and also we've walked max already no? and uh, maghihintay lang tayo at uh, while naghihintay tayo sa loading usap-usap na lang tayo mamaya konti So, kita tayo daw natin tong mga load natin at uh, titignan natin kung kailangan ba natin ng, uh, ng mga chains titignan natin kung kailangan natin ng chains alright natin siya higpitan kasi lalagyan natin yung mga edge protector yung edge protector para hindi maputol yung strap natin sa mga matalim or matalinis ano mas tagalog yung talinis ayos kailangan ito para pag higpit mo ng straps katulad nito higpitan mo siya ng ganyan hindi siya mapuputol poprotektahan na yung strap ganyan isa dyan isa din dito lalagyan mo siya lahat So, tapos na tayo no? uh, Na secure na natin Yung mga load natin lahat Lahat ay nailagay na natin At uh, paalis na tayo ngayon Nandito tayo ngayon sa Edmonton uh, Ito yung pangalawang pick up Yun yung uh, pangalawang pick up natin Yung maliit na yon At uh, ito yung lahat first pick up natin kanina Sa Atchison Anyway, chinect ko na yung mga gulong natin And uh, yung trailer pala natin na dinala ngayon It is a uh, Tri-axle flatbed trailer and uh, uh, sakto na no lahat ay nahigpitan na natin na secure na nga natin yung mga straps natin anyway palis na tayo ngayon at uh, all the way to uh, Abbotsford British Columbia hindi alam kung saan tayo hinto but ilalabas lang natin mamaya maya konti si Max but anyway I'll catch you guys in the highway Good morning everybody, so I'm here with my good friend Eric, uh, we work on the same company, 
and uh, he was being domesticated because of you know the things that's been going on but say hi eric hello this is what i'm doing because my wife is domesticating me. <laughs> i'm actually so, making a blanket for my truck. max shh. Um, so colors, and i'm staggering my colors so what that is filipinos who doesn't know i'm not sure if you know but if you don't that that is called netting knitting 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 okay so how long did you have to like do that like take you for about what well i was bored over holidays so it didn't take me long to do this oh is that right eh but it's just sitting in the truck instead of doing nothing i do a little bit of this and why not yeah, yeah. why not so yeah it's pretty cool that you know some people actually knows how to i i don't know how to do that but eric knows and uh you're gonna learn though I'm gonna learn. I'll probably have to search from the internet or maybe talk to someone that does know. But for now, we're just hanging out here. We don't have any loads. We're waiting for a dispatch to give us some load. But Eric and I have been here for... I've been here uh, seven months now. Seven months? Seven months, yeah. But I mean, you've been here last night too? I stayed in Shirt Park last night. Okay. Yeah, so pretty cool. So that this is what we always do. Not always do, but... If we meet up someone that has doesn't have any loads yet, then we talk. Pretty much we can do. That's all you can do. Yeah. So, if you guys see Eric down the road humming his truck on the highway, if he stop anywhere, make sure you say hi to him. He's a good guy. Cool guy. Yeah. So, you want to say something to your wife or your family or something? Yeah, hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's nice to be on the road, but I do miss you guys. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting to see the country, but it's be nice to be home a little more often but it's the way it is sorry i, I put you on the spot right away yeah, there <laughs> so yeah i just gotta make sure my hair is done properly my makeup's okay but yeah you know how it is. all right so. so i will cut you guys in a little bit me and i is going to chat here more so bye for now bye, -bye. we are in uh, q line yard and uh so the plans have changed Siguro mga tatlong beses nag-change yung plan natin. Hindi tayo pupunta ng uh, hindi na tayo pupunta ng Abbotsford, British Columbia kasi nag-change nga yung plan. Ang gagawin natin ngayon ay kukuha tayo ng empty uh, step deck trailer and we are going to Westlock, Alberta. It's only an hour away from here. Uh, kukuha tayo ng dozer. Uh, hindi ko pa alam kung anong klaseng dozer yung kukunin natin but uh, it's not very big. It's a little bit heavy, I think. Uh, we're going to pick this up one up in Westlock and then ihahatid natin sa Gerald, Saskatchewan. It's about 10, 11 hours away from here, so nah, not too bad, but uh, ganyan talaga yung tracking, no? Uh, minsan na nag-change yung mga plan and mga dispatch, nag-iiba-iba. Lalo na ngayon ay uh, nag-inventory kasi kami. Kaya medyo masyado magulo. But anyway, yun yung gagawin natin ngayon. Uh, pupunta tayo sa Westlock, kukunin natin yung dozer. And then, hindi ko pa alam kung madideliver natin yung dozer sa Sunday. Um, kasi ngayon, it's already Friday. And uh, babiyahe tayo buong araw. Uh, makakarating siguro tayo sa Saskatoon. And uh, maybe more than that. But anyway, uh, kukunin lang natin yung dozer. And kita-kita uh, tayo mamaya-maya konti.
ulit so nandito na tayo sa West Lock and nandito na tayo sa equipment no nag back up na rin ako sa uh, ramp natin at uh, lalabas tayo titignan natin yung load iniintay lang natin yung uh, personnel na mag load sa atin kasi lunch time ata but anyway check muna natin yung uh, ikakarga natin so eto yung kukunin nating load it's a pull dozer 1850 ngayon ko lang nakita tong klasing dozer na ito ilalagay natin to sa ating deck and uh, itutulak itutulak lang ata siya nito but yeah so this is our load going to uh, Gerald Saskatchewan <laughs> Gerald Anderson titignan natin Medyo malapat siya konti eh no But it's alright Yung trailer natin Ay nilagay na natin dito sa ramp Ready na siya no Hiniintay na lang natin yung personnel I'll be okay Or do you think we got to bring it pretty much uh, pretty much all the way to, I think uh, I'm not sure if would they offload me tomorrow uh... in your deck or we can find some wood uh, somewhere I'm sure to put underneath the blade so it doesn't scratch yeah It's about 20,000 pounds, eh? I, Somewhere over there? Yeah, maybe not even. Yep. Yeah.
Thank you. It looks good. Okay, so natapos na nating i-secure yung load natin at uh, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano ko siya nilagyan ng mga chains and uh, marami tayong nilagay na chains, no? Pero mas importante na yon kahit overkill basta importante secure kasi yung gitna nito gumagalaw-galaw kasi siya nagagalaw siya sa gitna kaya nilagyan natin ng maraming chains ipapakita ko sa inyo So, so dito sa gitna nilagyan natin ng tatlong chains, no? magkabilaan dito opposite on the opposite no um, pulling on the opposite direction uh, nag criss cross tayo and then dito sa gitna na naman meron tayong nilagay isa doon at isa dito uh, magkabilaan and dito sa harap criss cross ulit nilagyan natin sila so dito sa harap meron tayong six chains and uh, So dito sa harap hindi na tayo naglagay no kasi enough na yung nasa nasa gitna natin. And then dito na naman sa likod uh, naglagay lang ako ng isang straps and uh, nilagyan ko lang ito ng isang katena dito para hindi talaga siya gumalaw. So secure yung load natin. And then uh, naglagay na rin tayo ng sign sa likod no. So din naglagay tayo ng mga flags sa gilid-gilid. Kasi we are 10 foot wide And sa harap din Naglagay na rin tayo ng Naglagay na rin tayo ng oversize Na sign Ito Nilagyan natin So we are basically good to go guys uh, Magmamaneho na tayo Kita kita na lang tayo ulit sa highway <laughs> 